Hey guys, it's January 1, 2021. It's the first day of the year. And I know this is a crazy idea, but I'm going to learn Portuguese. You might be asking, why Portuguese? Well, I like how it sounds, so that's basically it. So here's my plan for the first month. First, I'm going to check out the most common phrases in Portuguese for conversations. Second, I'm going to work on my Duolingo. Third, I'm going to look for Portuguese songs to listen to and memorize. Fourth, I'm going to search and memorize the 1,000 most used nouns and adjectives in Portuguese. And lastly, by the end of this month, I'm going to have my first Portuguese conversation through Skype with a Brazilian friend who by now still remains unknown and is still out there. It's also important that you know that I have an intermediate level in Spanish, Yo quiero pan. and they say that Portuguese and Spanish are very much alike, so this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so this is proof that it's January 1 today. And yeah, I'm gonna be studying the language, at the same time cram for my final exams, and at the same time attend my second semester classes. Hey guys, so I just want to give you an update in case you're wondering, not that you need it, but so it's day 7 of my Portuguese journey, it's January 7, let's validate that, if you can see that, and I haven't really been learning that much as I hoped I would because I was so busy with my academics. The exam was just two days ago, I think, so although I wasn't really able to study the language comprehensively and intensively, I was still able to pick up some nuggets of information and nuggets of vocabulary from this week. So basically this week, I've been watching some videos from PortuguesePod101.com in YouTube. And I have, I also downloaded the resources that Nathaniel Drew had in this channel when he was learning Portuguese. I will link the link to his video down below and I also do Duolingo every day I don't miss that because that's the only activity that I can afford to do basically this week I think I'm gonna push myself more I'm gonna go study the nuances of the language I realize that when I speak Spanish I think in English sometimes or I translate some words in English but when I speak Portuguese I translate the words in Spanish so it's like a a thread of languages. I've also realized that I really do work best when I'm talking with a native speaker, but I'm gonna have that conversation after 23 days, 24 days. So yeah, this is gonna be an exciting week. It's gonna be a productive and fulfilling and knowledgeable week. Hey everyone, it is the second week of January. It's January 14. This is an update on how I'm going with my Portuguese. I have been using Duolingo quite frequently and I always start my mornings with Duolingo because I know that later in the day or in the afternoon or in, at night, I become lazy. I've studied some present tense verbs and a little bit of preterite verbs. And I think, yeah, despite the academic pressures, it's an achievement that I'm still able to squeeze in Portuguese. I have to admit that I haven't really been progressing as much as I thought I would this week. And I also realized that I'm such a passive learner. I've never touched a Portuguese textbook since January 1 because I didn't like the thought of it. I think I realized that I really do work best when I'm having fun. So basically that's it. I don't really like putting pressure on myself to learn as much Portuguese in one month. Because after all, this is not a race and I have no timeline, I have no deadline to reach Portuguese fluency. So good morning everyone, it is January 31. This is proof. And yeah, I'm gonna have my first Portuguese call with my friend. His name is Nobu and he's from Brazil. Um, I actually don't know what to expect. I know I'm not prepared for this. I have been really busy with my academics. Yeah, this is just to show you my progress in one month. I es que estoy cagado. Here we go. Oi, tudo bem? Wait, wait, wait. Como foi seu dia? Esse o dia? Uh, meu dia foi bom. Muito bem, muito bem. Muito bem, muito bem. Eu estou falando é, espanhol. O que está fazendo? Uh, I was studying. Eu estava estudando. And that's it. I was studying Japanese. And your accent is quite good. Congrats. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> vejo, vejo muito series. 
de Brasil? Você tem passatempos? Oh. Meus passatempos são jogar, estudar... Jogar, jogar o quê? Eu jogo... RPGs, muitos RPGs. Eu não jogo, mas eu gosto das plantas. O que você estuda? estuda? I want to be a translator. Eu quero ser um, eu quero ser um tradutor. You... Did you ever go out of your country? Sim, sim. Bom, uh, viajei. Is that a word? Viajei. Viajei. Is that a past tense of viajar? Viajei? Yes. Quantos anos você tem? Eu tenho 19 anos. Anos. Onde você mora? Eu moro yes. em Gênero Santos. Aqui comemos... Aqui comemos... Muito arroz. Os filipinos gostam de arroz. Você gosta de... Ir às praias? Ah, uh, não. Não, por que não? Eu gosto, de, eu gosto de ficar em casa. I like to be at home. Você gosta de estar sozinho? Certo? Yes, I like. <risos> Você tem um irmão? Tenho um irmão. Ele é mais velho que eu. Sim, ele ele estuda, estuda medicina. Sim, vou saber se posso, se posso aprender português em um mês. Correct. Now is correct. Ótimo. Yes. And you're doing really great. Like your pronunciation is really great as well. You will not have a problem here in Brazil. Sim. Tchau. Um, tchau. Okay, so the call just ended. I am ah. Uh, but I think I did good though. I think. What do you What do you think? Uh, Thiago thinks that I have a good accent though, and, and I've learned a lot within one month. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. I did not expect that to be really challenging and right now I'm just out of words, even in English. So anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to continue learning Portuguese. It's really a fun language, even though that call was really hard for me. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me in this journey. I really appreciate you guys finishing this video and I hope you guys get inspired to learn a language or, you know, a part of learning the language is committing a lot of mistakes and making errors and that's completely normal. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video, whatever that video may be.